What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed if you are. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And while you're at it, if you're listening to this on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. So let's get into this conversation slash reality chat. All right, guys, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. It's clear to me that when it comes to Carlos King and... (laughs) Oh my gosh. I Listen, I'm indifferent to him. I know there are a lot of people who really do not like the guy. I'm just, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm indifferent. I, at first, at first, when it came to learning about him being associated with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I definitely had respect for that because he put in the work and then I don't know what the actual reasons were for his departure from the franchise. The rumors are that he was fired and they're saying that it has something to do with the allegations that Phaedra put out there about Candy and what she and her husband Todd were alleged attempting to do to Portia. But I don't know if that's true because Candy actually came out and said something and kind of debunked that. But I'm sure that Candy is not here for Carlos King. And she said loud and clear in an interview on the House of Aaron YouTube channel that she isn't here for him because he tried to steal the rights to their story, Escape, her music group. And and also, you know, the fact that he tried to do that as well as, you know, doing it in a sneaky way by reaching out to her mom and things like that is just really, really weird, especially due to the fact that Carlos and Candy's husband, Todd, used to do work together. If you guys ever watched the reality series, uh, Hollywood Divas, it used to come on TV One Network. You can actually watch it on Tubi. And ironically, I liked the show. I actually watched it. I think it had about three seasons. And I watched it maybe about... mm, Maybe earlier this year, maybe around January, maybe even December of last year, I watched it on Tubi, the Tubi app. And the first season, it had Golden Brooks and Elise Neal, Countess Vaughn, and from Real Housewives of Atlanta, first and second season, Lisa Wu. She used to be Hartwell, but she's no longer Hartwell. And I really did like the show. But Carlos King and Todd, they did that together. And even on the, I believe it was the second, I believe either, maybe it was the first season. I can't remember which um, season it was, whether it was the first season or the second season, but they did the reunion and the reunion was in like an auditorium atmosphere. Carlos was doing the reunion and Todd was there and he was like in the audience and had the microphone and was allowing people to get up and ask questions of the ladies on the cast. They did that together. Apparently they had a falling out. I don't know all of the details of that, but that is a real strange situation. And I would love to probably dig into that more. And I may look that up honestly and just talk about it. But anyway, Carlos and Hotel Holt from Love and Marriage Huntsville. You know, I'm, I'm just to the point right now, based on many weeks ago when he did an interview with Hotel on his podcast slash YouTube channel and allowed this dude to sit there to make it seem as if he was the one that was the brains behind Melody and the catalyst to catapult her to the successful woman that she is today is just utter BS because we all know that he still has not passed the builder's license exam and Melody has, but you are the brains behind everything. Okay, whatever. That it, You know, it's, 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 I was about to say guys. He's not even a guy. He's just trash. It's stuff like that when it comes to <laughs> these, these guys, I'll just say it, these guys like, him and Kevin, who used to be married to Wendy Williams, who always want to claim that they are the reason why their wife was so successful. But when when the wife is not with you anymore, your career is in the trash. 
because recently Kevin, he had to put his home up for sale because he couldn't continue to pay the bills because he's not getting the alimony that he was used to getting anymore. And I I think the, the chick that he was with left him, allegedly. But anyway, not to go down that rabbit hole right now, but I heard about this interview that Carlos King recently did. And if I can find it, I'm going to check it out. But I was listening to some content where someone was discussing this and it just really made me, it, it infuriated me. And I'm not even a mellow meter, as some people call themselves. I'm, I'm not. I just cannot understand why this person, Carlos, who after knowing the information that came out about Hotel and his attempt to try to smear his ex-wife and put out intimate video video footage of her when she was married to this douchebag as her husband to, I guess, not show himself doing anything, but to show her in the video to try to smut her out to make her seem like she was out here with just some random dude and and have it as if this random person put this out there on social media to try to embarrass her, to try to make her look bad because he said that he got tired of her bullying her on social media. And Carlos King knows that nothing of the sort has happened of her bullying him. But for him to, after all of that, basically come out here to say that Hotel was the catalyst behind Melody even being on television and the force to help her become successful because he had a conversation with this whole hotel to basically allow him to sit and say Melody asked you know him about helping her to get on television so he made it happen you can clearly tell even though Hotel is friends with the other people on the show for the most part. You can clearly tell from the first, I believe the first episode of the very first season that Melody was the main one that was doing the majority of the business. He was just wearing suits and going to the gym and and being a bastard of a husband. She was the one that was doing the work. I mean, you never really saw him doing much. It was mainly talk. It was his name being on the business, Holt and Holt Realty. You you know, like, it's just ridiculous that at this point, after all that has been revealed and all that has been exposed from this custody battle, that he initiated because he wanted to get a check and he wanted to hurt his ex-wife and he wanted to try to take the kids away from her because he knows that she really truly loves her children. As busy as she is, she makes it work and it's not easy. He wanted to make it harder on her. And for Carlos King to come out here and say the things that he said in this interview about Hotel as if he's some great man, and he was the one that really helped Melody, I think is extremely dangerous. It's just adding fuel to that forest dumpster fire of this creature hotel to boost his ego to make him think that he's more than what he really is. And I wonder why would at this point in time, he be saying things like this after the facts of all of those things coming out. These are legitimate facts, right? Yeah, I can say allegedly, but Hotel, he came out and he admitted it in that interview that he did with Queen Sheba where he talked about sending her a screenshot from the video and saying, I want her, I wanted her to stop bullying me on social media. Okay, so yeah, I could say allegedly, but he came out there and and admitted that. So after all of that is said and done, You mean to tell me that at this point in time, you're going to come out and and say that this man really helped Melody out? 
I feel that he's trying to push Melody out, which I kind of feel like she already wants to just be done with this. I don't know what the terms of her, her contract is and, and, and whatnot when it comes to the show and continuing on. And if, if you've been watching this current season, you can see that you don't see her much. And there are some people that say, well, yeah, she just shows up for a little moment and then she ducks out and leaves. And so she's over it and she's tired of it. And all of that could very well be true. But also I take into consideration the fact that the space has really been made uncomfortable for her so much so that any person, everyone has their limits and any person can say that they just get to the point where they're just fed up and they're just tired and they're just done. And I just think, that, yeah, she could be at the point of done. But in my personal opinion, I kind of feel like Carlos is also trying to push her out maybe even sooner because he calls himself yes to the mess. He calls himself that. So if he calls himself that, do you not believe that he wouldn't want to see the mother of Hotel's fifth child on the show because he knows that, yeah, there are a lot of people that are Melometers or supporters of Melody that wouldn't watch the show if she came on there. But people love mess when it comes to these reality shows. So even some of the people who say they wouldn't watch, they would probably watch just even if they're anger watching and to talk about it. He knows that it would bring in more ratings because right now the ratings have been t- terrible. And honestly, the show hasn't been that great either. I'm not one of these people that's hating on it or saying, well, the show needs to be canceled or whatever, because I I do know that it's not just the people who are on camera that are on the show. There are a lot of other people who work behind the scenes and it's not their fault. Like this is their job. I don't really wish for anyone to lose their jobs. And I'm speaking as someone who is an employer. I am a business owner and I have employees and I know how people depend on their paychecks. So I'm looking at it from that perspective, even though I believe hotel is trash. I believe the men of Love and Marriage Huntsville, for the most part, except for Tiffany's husband. And I don't really know a whole lot about um, what's her name? The other one. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, the, the other one, the, the one that has a hair care line. And I'm not trying to be shady. It's just early in the morning. And I don't know why her name isn't coming to me right now, but her husband, I don't know a whole lot about her husband. I think his name is Courtney. I don't know why her name isn't coming to me right now, guys. So please know I'm not trying to be shady, but hotels, trash, Maurice is trash. Marceau definitely is trash. So when it comes to this show and the people that are on it, on the camera, I can say that I don't really want to see them anymore. I get that. But I'm also thinking about the people who are behind the scenes and the people who do all of the things when it comes to the smallest things to the largest things behind the scenes that we never see on camera. These people... They get a paycheck and they also have families. They have obligations and duties that they have to take care of. So I think about them as well. I don't just think about the people who are on the camera, even though I can't stand Hotel, um, Marceau, and Maurice, okay? So anyway, to hear that he's still riding for this dude at this point in time and hasn't even done the least bit as to just come out and even put a statement on the screen about love and marriage, Huntsville and Kingdom Reign Entertainment does not condone revenge, P-O-R-N, or however you wanted to phrase it, because you know that that's something that happened, even if it didn't happen on the show. You can say you're going to wait until the reunion to discuss it, but as much as he comes on social media to do his podcast and to interview other people or to talk about other shows, you couldn't take five minutes to talk about that and to respond to it. To me, it just gives the appearance as if he really is trying to push Melody out sooner than later and make way for coleslaw, and the other drama that comes with Hotel to come on the show because 
it he believes will bring more views, more eyeballs because he has been losing audience viewership. He has. The numbers are terrible. The numbers are terrible. And so I don't know if he believes that that's really going to help, but I believe that he thinks that it might and he's willing to try it because like I said, he's called himself yes to the mess. So with that being said, it's really a shame that at this point in time, he's still not speaking out against the situation, but even more so giving hotel kudos and saying that he was the one that helped Melody when it's clear to anyone that even doesn't have eyesight or who may even not even be able to hear, but can see that Melody was the catalyst behind everything. And that's why nothing is working out for him. Trust and believe if he knew how to conduct himself in business, even with him being a trash character, there would be something that would pop off for him that would be successful because he claims that he knows business and he is the one that did everything, right? So if you claim that, then why isn't anything working out for you? Oh, maybe because it's not true. Oh, maybe because you never were that dude. And you have always been that person that is always trying to portray yourself in this positive light that you never deserve to be in because you live and breathe and do your best work in darkness because you're a dark soul. Like Letitia tried to call Melody. He's the one that has the dark soul. And he's the devil in sheep's clothing or devil in tight suits. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to talk about that because I really feel that it is a shame that with everything that Carlos is trying to achieve with all of these different franchises, as well as the podcast and just doing all of the interviews that he does of other people on his platform, he's not addressing this huge elephant in the room. And instead of not addressing it, he is giving kudos to the elephant in the room to make it seem like he get doesn't get the credit that he deserves. He doesn't deserve credit. He really deserves some handcuffs because what I heard him attempting to do, I believe, is a crime. And even if you don't lock him up behind bars, he needs to be in somebody's padded room in a straight jacket because the dude is psycho. And I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. So when Carlos giggles with him and laughs and, you know, blushes when he's speaking with him or about him, it's just extremely questionable. And it makes me think back to last season when he had his show, which was just pretty much a copy of Watch What Happens Live that he tried to do to rip off Andy Cohen's um, idea of Watch What Happens Live. And he had hotel on with somebody else. I can't remember who the other person was. I think it may have been Dr. Heavenly. I think it was Dr. Heavenly and hotel. It just makes me think back to hotel, which I changed the channel when he started to try to do a little dance and take off his jacket and unbutton his shirt. I was like, next, like I was flipping the channel, but Carlos, he was looking real excited. (laughs) I'm just saying. So you guys let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here, liking and subscribing. This is Beth. I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.